Hello friends, welcome to developers tube channel. My name is Ismail Sodakar and today types of constructor in C sharp. So before proceeding, there are some requisite for understanding the types of constructor in C sharp. You should uh, clearly aware of the what are the constructor in C sharp and I have already covered this in my previous videos. So you can find the link here of the my previous video and also I'm putting the link in the description. So let us go to our main topic. So there are mainly five types of constructor in C-sharp. The first one is default constructor, which is also called as implicit constructor or parameterless constructor because it doesn't have any parameter. The another one is parameterized constructor. It contains the parameter, at least one parameter in it. Uh, next one is copy constructor, private constructor and static constructor. So in this video, I'm going to discuss on the default constructor, parameterized constructor and copy constructor. Remaining two, I will discuss in my next video. So let us go to our first constructor that is default constructor. So this is my default constructor. So what is a default constructor? The constructor is the one which is implicitly called by the compiler for creating the class object if no other constructor is present in the class. It is saying that uh, it will have the parameters and uh, uh, it doesn't have any parameters in it and it is created uh, called by implicitly by the uh, by the compiler when we try to create any object of the class. Uh, it also called as implicit constructor. Why it is called implicit? Because it is automatic called the compiler. Developer does not call it or does not pass any parameter because it does, doesn't have any uh, takes any parameters. So it is also called as implicit constructor or parameterless constructor because it doesn't have any parameter. It initializes the member of the class with default values. So if uh, suppose in my class there are two variables string and uh, string price and any integer value. So by default, uh, it initializes with the default values. So in C sharp, default value for integer is, was, is zero and for string is null values. So in the example, you can see I have written one example of uh, the default constructor here. This is my car class. And you can see here public car. I have defined here default constructor. But actually, if I will not define any constructor here, it is called directly by the compiler. So let us see this with the example. So this is my program types of constructor here. I have created one class car. So car is having two parameters. Uh, name and price. So I have not given any value to it. And let's go to the our program.cs. So in this uh, program.cs, I'm creating one object of the class car. You can see here, uh, I, I'm not passing any value. So in internally, implicit constructor gets called here. And the object is assigned to car1 variable here. So car1 become the object. Now I'm printing here car1 dot, car1 name is car1 dot name and car1.price is car1.price. So I will run this project and I'll show the output. So uh, we have seen that uh, the implicit constructor or default constructor initializes the variable with default value. So here name is of type string. So it will have empty null value and price will have uh, zero value because it is of type integer. So zero is default value for integers in C sharp. Now I will run this program. So this is all about our default constructor. Now we we'll go to our next type of constructor. What is parameterized constructor? A constructor having at least one parameter is called parameterized constructor. In the previous video screen, we have seen that uh, our parameterless constructor doesn't have any parameter, but parameterized constructor will have uh, parameters. Minimum will be one and maximum will be any number of parameter we can give. If a class is having the parameterized constructor in it, it will not be called automatically by the C sharp compiler. It is developer's responsibility to call the parameterized constructor and pass the required parameter value. We have seen in our uh, parameterless constructor, the constructor gets called automatically. Developer has not called it. But in case if a class is having parameterized constructor at that time, we need to call it explicitly and we need to pass the value explicitly. Compiler will not do anything. This passed values to the constructor is assigned to the variable of the class. So the, if I'm passing two variables, suppose name and price, so th this will be assigned to the variables of the class. Right? Variable of the class will be different and parameter of 
constructor will be different. So class will take these values from the parameters of the constructor and put into the class variable. We can also we can also pass an object of a class as a parameter to the parameterized constructor. So in, uh, a constructor can have uh, object of a class also as a parameter. This is also possible. Now let us go to our program. So in my types of constructor program, I have created another class. Uh, the class name is bike. As you can see here, it is having two variable name and price. And here, this is the constructor. This constructor has two parameters, bike name and price. And this bike name, I'm assigning this bike name and price to name and price of the class variables. So this is parameterized constructor. Now I will run it and we will see the output of the, what output will come. So first I need to, sorry, I need to paste my code for this. I will remove car code. And for time being, I have copied here. You can see here, I have created the object of bike and I have passed uh, two parameters. The first parameter is bike name, second is price. So first I'm passing unicorn and second I'm uh, passing 85,000. Suppose if I will not pass the variable, then what will happen as it will give me a compile time error because there are no arguments that correspond to the required format. So parameter is asking that parameterized constructor asking for values. So I will revert this change. Now the error goes. So explicitly I have passed the values. I'm calling parameterized constructor explicitly. Now I'm printing this value of bike name and price. So let us see the output of this parameterized constructor. So you can see your bike name is unicorn and bike price is 85,000. So parameterized constructor is also passing as expected, running as expected. So now we'll see our another constructor that is copy constructor. Now copy constructor, what is copy constructor? The constructor which creates an object by copying variables from another object is called a copy constructor. So in this what happens, uh, it is a type of parameterized constructor, but uh, as a parameter, it takes object of any class and that object contains the value. So copies this object values to the variables of the class. So by using that values, we can create another object. So it means that we are copying one object into another. The copy constructor takes an object as a parameter. I have told you, it reduces the complexity of constructor by taking a bunch of parameter in a single object. Yes, it is true. For example, if we need to pass 10 parameters to a constructor, then instead of passing 10 values separately, we can declare them as properties of a class and can send one object as a parameter to the constructor instead of 10 different values. So it, it reduces the complexity of the class or of the class also of the constructor. We can say, suppose I'm having a different variables in, of type integer, string, date, time. So if I will declare 10 parameters and I have to pass 10 parameters to the constructor, definition will be long. Instead of that, if I create one object and I create the properties to the object, uh, to the class, and when I create the object and assign the values and the whole object I can send as a one parameter to the class. So that one parameter, it, it will reduce the complexity. Now we will see, here I have given the example again. So we'll see the example here in our code. So this is my type of constructor project here. Now I will remove this and I will paste this. I have created one class with the name truck. Class truck, it is having name and price to variables. And here you can see that one parameter is constructor I have taken. So it is having a name and price, two parameter it will require. So I'm assigning this name and price, price directly I have given, it is not correct. I have to write price here. So the, uh, this price will be assigned to the price uh, variable of the class. And this is this keyword is used for referring to the class variables. So this dot price means this price, not this price. 
and the another one is the copy constructor means this this is a parameterized constructor also but it is taking truck class object here as a parameter and passing this object's properties uh, values to these properties of the class because here so we, here i have not used this keyword so it is also valid now we will see the output of it first we will go to the program.cx you can see here in the program.cs, I have created one object, truck one equals to new truck, and I'm calling the parameterized constructor because our truck is having two uh, two constructor here, which I have already shown you. Now I'll come back. So for creating the first object, I'm passing the name as truck one and the price is 25,000, 25, 2,50,000 is. Now, when I'm creating another object of truck that is truck two, so I am passing this truck one object as parameter. So what's happening when I'm passing this truck one. So this truck one's value is getting copied into the new object. I will go to here object here to the truck two of truck one to truck two. So because of this, we call it as copy constructor. Now let us see the functionality. The name of the truck two will be as that of truck one's name and name of the price will be as that of the truck two's truck one's price so these values are popping here now i'll run this as you can see here truck two name is truck one and truck two price is to like fifty thousand so this is our copy constructor so if you have any doubts, you can comment me and at the last, last I am to say you please like, share and subscribe to my channel.